Hello everybody, myself Swati Deshmukh, I welcome you all in 15th session of your physics paper 1 syllabus. In last session, we have seen few things regarding the transducer. Now, here in this session, we are going to discuss the things about crystal microphone. So, the term microphone is not new to you. You have seen the microphone many times, especially when you are actively participating in your gathering program. So, a microphone is nothing but a device that converts audio signal, that is sound waves, into the electrical signals. Thus, microphone is a transducer that converts audio signals into electrical signals. These electrical signals will be amplified, recorded or transmitted further as per the requirement. Basically, a microphone structure is like this. The sound wave enters into the microphone. There is a material here is a structure, what we called it as a diaphragm, that will start vibrating in response to this sound waves. This diaphragm is nothing but a thin sheet of metal, particularly aluminium, copper or gold. So this diaphragm vibrates in response to this incoming sound waves. Now there will be some structure that count the vibration of this diaphragm and convert that vibrations into the electrical signals as per our requirement. And in this way the sound waves will get converted to the electrical signal in a microphone. Now depending on the structure which is present alongside this diaphragm, the structure that convert the vibrations of diaphragm, the movement of diaphragm to the electrical quantity, electrical signal. This structure, depending on this structure, a microphone is converted into many categories. So the very well known microphone or well known class of microphone is the dynamic microphone. Very popular one and it is the microphone that you have seen in your school, college, gathering, orchestra, concert, like this. So, a dynamic microphone is also known as a moving coil microphone. Why? Because alongside the di diaphragm, here there is an electromagnet which converts the vibrations of this diaphragm to the electrical signal. So, we call this uh, dynamic microphone as electromagnetic induction microphone also. It is most popular for stage use due to its drugged construction. That is very, it is very easy to handle. And if you have a rough use of this microphone, even in that case also, this dynamic microphone works better. Another class of microphone is the condenser microphone. In condenser microphone, along with the diaphragm, here along with the diaphragm, there is another thin metal plate you can say. It is a metal plate, thin metal plate. So diaphragm itself is a metal plate. There is a, again a thin metal plate alongside this diaphragm and as a result of this, these two metal plates separated by certain distance, they form a capacitor-like structure. So, these condenser microphones are also known as the capacitor microphones, uh, capacitor microphones, which store the charges. So, the condenser microphones are more sensitive and more responsive as compared to the dynamic microphones. Moreover, they have lower noise compared to the dynamic microphones. As we have said, 
it consists of a thin membrane in close proximity with the metal plate in close proximity with the diaphragm we can say and condenser microphone is useful for the recording of sound coming from the string instruments it is very sensitive so even there is a lower quality of sound that could be notified by this condenser microphone the third category of microphone is the ribbon microphone it is a ribbon microphone which is nothing but a sibling of dynamic microphone it is just same as the dynamic microphone because in both of these microphones dynamic microphone and ribbon microphone the principle of electromagnetic induction is used to convert the incoming sound waves to the electrical signal but the only difference is that the diaphragm attached to the moving coil that vibrates within a magnetic field as in case of dynamic microphone this diaphragm is replaced by ribbon by a thin strip of metal most oftenly the aluminum metal suspended in a strong magnetic field thus the function of dynamic microphone and ribbon microphone is based on the electromagnetic induction phenomena only the difference is that in dynamic microphone a diaphragm will be used and in case of ribbon microphone a thin strip of metal is used the ribbon microphones are very very much popular for those who want to record a wide range of acoustical instrument professionally like a stage performance which include as much large instruments as possible so in that case of recording a ribbon microphone is much more useful the fourth main type of microphone is the crystal microphone on which we have to focus and i will cover it in next slides but before that apart from these four types dynamic microphone condenser microphone ribbon microphone and crystal microphone there are few more more types of microphone like laser microphones fiber optics microphones liquid microphones yummy ms microphones carbon microphones and also uh, there are many types that i haven't mentioned here now let us see the details about the crystal microphone which is the fourth important class of microphone okay before going to the crystal microphone i would like to discuss the microphone types classifications that are based on the polar patterns of microphone polar patterns of microphone what is mean by polar patterns of microphone so polar pattern of a microphone is nothing but how well the microphone hears sound from different directions this polar pattern indicate the sensitivity of that mic as far as direction is concerned if the mic is sensitive for sound waves coming from all direction we can say that polar pattern or that mic as omnidirectional mic suppose your mic is sensitive for the sound coming in one direction only in this way the sound coming from this one direction is totally sensible by the mic whereas the sound coming from the opposite side will not be captured by that mic so in that case the mic is said to be a cardioidic mic suppose you are going to take uh, array arrange an interview of somebody so you are at one side and that person is at another side so in that case what microphone you have to use you have to use a bidirectional microphone which is sensitive for two opposite directions so in this way there are various microphone polar patterns which indicate the sensitivity of that mic for the incoming sound wave so there are various uh, uh, polar patterns omnidirectional subcardioidic cardioidic supercardioidic hypercardioidic bidirectional 
shotgun and many more so along with the material that convert the sound signals to electrical signals the microphones are also classified in this way depending on the polar patterns or the sensitivity of microphone for the incoming waves so come to the point of crystal microphone also known as the ceramic microphone why because the crystal microphone made use of a piezoelectric material or a ceramic material crystal or ceramic material that generates this piezoelectric effect in order to convert the sound signals to the electrical signal so a crystal microphone uses a thin strip of piezoelectric material attached to the diaphragm the crystal piezoelectric crystal that we are going to use in this microphone is actually sandwiched between two plates parallel plates which hold this crystal in front of diaphragm that is nothing but a thin sheet of some metal the two sides of the crystal acquire opposite charges when the crystal is deflected by the diaphragm and the charges that are developed are proportional to the amount of deformation of diaphragm and these charges will disappear when the stress on crystal disappear so we can see here the arrangement overall arrangement of crystal microphone it consists of some piezoelectric crystal piezoelectric material some piezoelectric material which is uh, kept in between two parallel plates i have not shown the parallel plates here but the crystal is always kept in between two parallel plates and this uh, arrangement is just kept behind this diaphragm this diaphragm a thin metal sheet this diaphragm start vibrating in response to the incoming sound waves suppose sound waves are coming from this direction so this diaphragm start vibrating these vibrations of diaphragm produce some mechanical pressure on this piezoelectric crystal piezoelectric material and it is the property of piezoelectric material that when we apply some pressure when some mechanical stress on this piezoelectric material this uh, material will generate some electric charge that will be calculated further in the form of voltage so a piezoelectric effect is nothing but the ability of certain materials to generate electric charges in response to the applied mechanical stress so whether each and every material holds this piezoelectric property no there are only certain materials that show this ability to convert the incoming mechanical stress to the electrical signal so what are the piezoelectric materials it is the quartz crystal it is the rochelle salt sugar cane bone even the bone in our body is piezoelectric material silk turnum turmalin like these are the examples few examples even the dna are also piezoelectric in nature so this type of piezoelectric material is kept in this uh, crystal microphone structure so this uh, piezoelectric crystal will generate the mechanical stress to the electrical signals this it is the body that convert incoming sound signals to the electrical signals but these electrical signals are not so high so these electrical signals will per further get amplified by voltage amplifier and by a power amplifier before giving it as the input to the loudspeaker so you can say a piezo this uh, crystal microphone is a kind of active transducer that convert the sound energy to the electrical signal so this is all about the crystal microphone but before that 
I would like to say that the crystal microphone, although they have a wide frequency range over which it can work better, but the drawback of this crystal microphone is that the piezoelectric property decreases rapidly, it depends on the temperature and decreases rapidly at high temperature. So, the crystal microphones are not successful in hot countries. Even the electric output of crystal microphone is comparatively very large, but the frequency response is not as good as the dynamic microphones. So, they are not serious contenders for music market. So, these are the two drawbacks of this crystal microphone. Nowadays, it's the time of the use of dynamic microphones or more advanced study is the use of laser microphones or uh, ME, MS microphones that I have discussed earlier. So, this crystal microphone, you can say it is quite older type of uh, microphone. So, this is all about the crystal microphone. If you have any question, uh, feel free to ask me anytime. Thank you. Have a nice day.